All right, first of all, we'll start out with a divide by zero error. And we've set up a program here that will catch a program or a user that's trying to divide by zero. All right, so we call this public class divide by zero. We've got our public static void main statement. We set up two integers, D and A, as variables. Now, here's our first try block. We say D equals zero, and then A we want to equal pick any number at random, 42, divided by D. D is zero. So we know that when it tries this mathematical expression, it will result in trying to divide 42 by zero. That's going to throw an error. Now, after that, we have a system out statement. Now, here's the catch. This statement will never print because the error is going to get caught. If D was not zero and it just divided by 40, divided 42 by a valid number, it would then print this statement because it would, it would try this area, try this block, it would run it successfully, and then it would move on to this system out statement. This is not going to happen, however, because this try statement is going to catch the error and it will throw the error down to here, our catch statement. Remember, every try statement has to be followed by at least one catch statement or a finally statement or both. When it tries this error and finds it, we're trying to divide by zero, it catches it, it is going to call this arithmetic, uh, arithmetic exception E, and then it's going to tell the user in a system out statement, you cannot divide by zero. And then after that, it will go immediately, immediately to this next system out statement, and it'll say this printed after the catch statement, and that will show you and that will prove to us that the error was caught because this statement up here will not run. We will not see it. This statement down here we will see because the error was caught and that statement tells it to print after the error was caught. All right, let's see what this looks like when we run it. All right, I'm going to run this program. It is Java divide by zero. And notice it says you cannot divide by zero. This printed after the catch statement, proving the error was caught. All right, so it did run successfully. We did not see the statement that we saw here. This will never print. That never got printed because the error was caught. All right, so that is our first example of a successful try-catch. Let's go on to our next example. And here, this is an example of a throw statement. So we call this class throw demo, and we're going to set up some processes here. So we got a, uh, a void statement to set up a static class demo process. Then we're going to try this. We say try, and we've got the throw statement here. We say throw the new error null pointer exception, and then catch that error, and we're going to call that E. And if that error is caught, we will see the message caught the error inside the throw statement. So here's the throw statement. We throw the error, we test for it, we see if it's caught, and if it is caught, it will result in this statement being printed. Then, to test it again, we're going to throw the error again. We say here, throw E. That rethrows the exception. And then it will go down to this try statement, try the demo process again. It'll catch the null pointer exception the second time and then it will give us the recaught and it'll list the error after it has caught it the second time from our second throw statement. All right, so this is a series of catch and throw or throw and catches. So let's see what results we get here. All right, we're going to clear this screen and I will say I want to run Java throw demo. And here it says it caught the inside the throw statement, caught the error there. And here's where it recaught the error, and then it lists the specific error after it tells us that it recaught it. So in this example, it threw the error twice, it caught the error twice, and we got the successful catch statements indicating that both times it was caught. All right, let's go to our next and last example. Actually, we've got two more examples. Let's take